All right, here we are inside of Nova Skin. As you can see, I have my tuxedo on right here. That's a good idea to always have something on your character to start off with. Now, if you don't have something in here, it's just going to be showing you just a grid kind of a thing, which is really hard to understand. So it's always good to open up a skin first. Go over here to where it says open and then navigate to a skin. I have my skins in here. Here's the default Steve. I have this one in here as well. There you go. It still has on that bow tie that I've made. But there's a basic default Steve look. Let me show you where you can find the default Steve look if you don't have another skin available. Okay, so go back to the desktop. Now to make this as easy as possible, you should first make a folder to work in. And I have a folder here I made called Skins. I just put it on my C drive and then open up Minecraft up to the launcher. Now in here where it says Installations, go right there. And then at the top, find the release that you're playing. I'm currently playing in Optifine right here. And then right next to the play button, there's a little folder right there. Click on that folder. And this takes you into the Minecraft folder. So in here, come down where it says versions. Let me just bring that up here a little bit. There we go. Go inside of versions, find the version that you're currently playing, or just find the latest version. Again, I'm in Optifine 1.16.5 right here. There's a regular 1.16.5. For this, either one works. It doesn't matter. Let's just go into the regular 1.16.5, open this up. And in here, you'll be seeing two files, one that's called .jar and one that's called .json. If you don't see that extension, the .jar and the .json, then go up to View and go over here where it says File Name Extensions and put a check right there. You'll then see that extension. We want to get that .jar file over here into our new working folder. Let me bring that working folder back up again. There it is. And then just take this jar file, holding down the right mouse button, drag it over here and choose Copy. Okay, I'm now done with this for right now. Let's just get this out of the way. Now here, you can open this up if you have WinRAR or a 7-zip or a program like that. If you don't have one of those things, it's easy to open this up just using the built-in Windows Zip app. Just click on the title here and then backspace over where it says jar and change that to zip. It'll give you this warning, just choose yes. It's now just a regular zip file. We can then open this up. Now what I'll do is I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to choose open in new window. And then in here, go into where it says assets and then into Minecraft and then down here into textures. And then in here, come right here where it says entity, go inside of entity and then scroll way down towards the bottom and way down here it says steve.png. Just right drag that over here and copy. That's your default Steve skin right there. And you can then go ahead and use that Let's do that now over here in Nova Skin. I'll bring Nova Skin back up again. Here we go. So let's go over here to open. And there it is. There's that Steve file that we just found. I'll use that one. Choose open. There we go. And I'll hide that one on the bottom. Okay. So there's our default skin. Now, this is the classic part of using Nova Skin. Now, Nova Skin is a very feature rich, kind of a complex program. So I'll do this basic skin here. And then I'll get into more videos later showing more of what you can do inside of Nova Skin. And it's just amazing when you get into building full resource packs here in this program. But for right now, let's just stick with doing just a skin. Okay, so I have our character right here. Notice if you click over here and just kind of drag around, you can move your skin around and see the whole bit here, the bottom and the top, you know, the whole thing. On the right hand side, we have different layers. You can add in layers. I'm going to go up here to this top layer. I'm going to remove that and this or remove that. Those are the previous two ones that we had in here. This is now just that one Steve. Notice if you roll over this, you see kind of a grid work pattern and a little pencil thing. And that allows you to paint using that pencil color. Now across the bottom down here, here's your tools right down in here. Left hand side, this is a color and then line, color and then a rectangle and then a color and then a circle or an ellipse and then a color and color and color in here. This is kind of a skin color. And then we have a fill which uses that color. And then over here, there's an eraser and here you can copy and paste from a previous part of your image. This gives you different color palettes to work with and a color pick. You can actually pick a color in here. Now, the way all these things work is you can change your colors on these. Click on that one and then choose any color you want right here. So this one is a color and then the line tool, which allows you to make lines. The rectangle right here allows you to make rectangles. And if you want to change that, notice we have a, a kind of a gradient in there. That's using this color and that color. If you want to change the gradient, just change this color and change that color. Click over here. Just make this more of a light blue. There we go. Let's make this one a bit of a darker blue. I'll just bring this down here a bit. There we go, darker blue. So now I have a light blue to dark blue gradient. And I'll just pull it in like that. And there we go, light blue to dark blue gradient. Now if you hit the Control Z keyboard shortcut, it undoes the last thing you did. So that's an easy undo, just Control Z. The ellipse draws a basic circle. Again, it uses two colors, the colors on the two sides of it. Right now we have that dark blue we did, and there's a black in here. And let's just draw in that. There we go, kind of a circular shape. 
not a bad pattern here for a shirt. Again, notice how it's using the black from one side and the blue from the other side to make that shape. And then a yellow color in here. This color is kind of a flesh tone or skin color. You can adjust that value right over here. And then your fill is gonna be using whatever color is in here. So you have these different tools like the fill, the ellipse, the rectangle, and the line, they all use the colors to the sides of them. So you have several color pencils basically, and then these other tools. We now have our basic drawing in here. Now you can draw on two levels with these skins in here inside of Nova Skin. And looking right down here, let's see very different parts. The top one up here, this is the head. If I click on this once more, the head is hidden. Click it again, and I see the head, and I roll over that kind of a halo almost, this extra layer in here. You can actually paint on two layers. This for the head is called the hat. And I can put a hat on top of my Steve character if I wanted to do that right in here. Down below that, this is the body area. Click once it goes away, click a second time, it comes back in with that overlay. When I had my bow tie on my tux, I put the bow tie on the overlay and click it again and you're back just to the regular skin. These just cycle through. First click is nothing. Second click is the part plus the overlay. Third click is just the part. And the reason why you want to hide the parts is you can do things like paint inside of that arm, inside of that arm. You want to paint on the bottoms of the arms, just rotate around. There's the bottoms in there. If I wanted to paint on the inside of the legs, I'll have to hide one of the legs. Just click on the leg down here. That is now hidden. I can then rotate over here and do this inside leg. Let's just bring that back up again and then hide the other side. And I can then paint the inside of that leg. So make sure you get those insides as well. Okay, let's now do a little bit of fun in here. We'll do a bit of just basic painting on this. We already have something happening in there. And let's put a stripe in here on top on this overlay. And we have kind of a blue and dark color here. Let's do a bright stripe. I'll change our first color. We'll use that line tool. Let's go here to a bright green. There we go. And I'll use the line tool. Now let's make a line just like that. Notice how it's using the line here from the color here and the color over there. If you want a solid color line, just make both of these colors the same thing. And I'll put in a couple of these lines in here. I'll put one right down here. And I'm putting these on the overlay, not on the actual skin. There we go. If I wanted to hide those and not use those, I can just do that just by clicking off on that so I'm not seeing that overlay. It will then save this part of the skin and not have that overlay part. If I want to see the overlay, make sure the overlay is showing like that, and then I'll see that part. Also, it's kind of hard to see, but if I go just to the edge like this, you can see how that overlay is actually standing out just a little ways from the skin. So it can add just a little bit of a three-dimensional look. So let's just go ahead and finish this off. I'm going to put some of these lines around the body in here. I'll put these just on the regular level, so not on the overlay. And we'll just do cuffs like that. Now in this arm, same thing. Just go right across the back like that. Click outside and drag, and then let's do this part here and then click and drag and do this part there we go now i want to get the insides of those arms so let's hide the body just click it until it goes away there it is and let's get inside of this arm which is right there rotate around and then inside of this arm and there we go so we've now painted those arms they look good and we have our body which is right there with those lines on top okay looks pretty good i think that's an interesting looking outfit not too bad now, once you have this done, once you've done all of your artwork for your body, you then want to save this. You can do that right up here where it says save. Here it is. Now notice that we have everything in here and here is that overlay section right there with those three lines. That's our overlay section. So give this a name. I'm gonna call this one green stripes. There we go. Then I'll call it a striped sweater and choose save let it save that it saves it up to my account there we go that's done. so we can download that right here let's go ahead and do that click on download and i'm still inside of my same skins folder here there's the new name choose save and i've now downloaded this texture file into my skins folder on my hard drive so that's all set to work with. let's go ahead and just close that down okay let's now take a look and see how we can take this skin and put it onto our character in the game and for that i'm going to switch over here to minecraft.net this is one way to do it down here i'm already logged into my account and i'm in the skin section and scroll down and you can upload a skin right here click on select a file let's find that one with our green stripes there it is choose open there we go and upload and this will upload it into the game now to see this we're going to have to have the game closed and then reopen again if i scroll down you can see here it is we're now looking at our new skin right there okay switch back to the game and see how this looks in the game and also take a look at that minecraft launcher and see how you can change these skins in the launcher okay here we are back at the launcher again and i'm looking at the installations right here just go to the right hand side click on skins and there we go 
There's that skin that we just made over there in Nova Skin with a striped sweater in it. Now this is going to be showing up in the game. Now you can do it either on Minecraft.net or you can do it right here as well. Either one works. If you want to just do it here, all you have to do is click on New Skin right here and then browse for your skin file. And there's all the skins that we had. There's that one with that sweater. Click on that again. Choose Open. And there we go. Click on Save and Use. And we just now chose that skin inside of the launcher. If you want to see this or save this over here, make sure you choose Add to Library. It's already been done over here. Now it has the wrong name up there, so I'm just going to come down here, little dot thing, hit Edit, and let's give this one a name. Let's call it Green Striped Sweater. There we go. Save and Use. And there it is. Okay, let's go back to Play, and let's launch this and see how that looks inside of the game. And then let's take a look here at single player and my main world right there. And there we go. There's my new green striped sweater. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Click on share, click on subscribe, and take a look at my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos. And I'll see you next time.